Hey guys, this is Claudia here from the Bookkeeping Experts. I've been a bookkeeper for a long time and I love my job. What I like the most about my jobs is my clients. I absolutely love talking to you business people, uh, trying to make sense of your finances. I love to hear from you and, uh, and help you out understand what's going on. Uh, today we're going to talk about 1099, how to file your 1099. Um, well, actually, um, the deadline was January 31st, but you still can file electronically up to a April 30th. There is a penalty from the IRS. That penalty is $50 per employee uh, up to a certain date. And then I believe up to April 30th, and then after that is $250 um, if, if it has not changed. Now, to file your 1099 with QuickBooks Online is very easy, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Okay, so first of all, if, um, if you have non-employee compensation in contractors, so they're, you're not paying them with a paycheck you're just sending them a 1099 at the end of the month sorry at the end of the year uh, this is how you do it so on the left hand side expense we're going to go to vendor uh, very important that you for all contracts is for, pretty much for all expenses that you have on quickbook put the name of the vendor because if you do not have the name of the vendor this will not work so you do need to add the name of the vendor Okay, so um, first of all, you want to make sure you set up to track for 1099. So let's suppose that we want to take a look at Ali's equipment rental. Okay, so what we're going to do on the top right-hand side where it says add it, we're going to go ahead and click on add it. And see where it says track for 1099? Okay, click over here and save it. Okay, so this is how much I paid. Uh, paid LA so far for uh, 2012 uh, so that still doesn't qualify for a uh, 1099 because to qualify for 1099 you have to pay 600 or more per year right so not enough but we're still in February so it could be that we paid more than that so this is just a sample account <laughs> so it's not um, it's just a sample account it's not true information Okay, so after you select that, on the left-hand side, you want to click on Payroll and Contractor. There it is. So we have three contractors here. Um, and what we're going to do, if you don't have the information for, for this person, so we're going to go to Allies Equipment Rental, and I don't have the information. So I can, if you have, if you had them, uh, um, already fill out the the form 109 for non com non non employee contractor. You can add the information manually over here, individual or business, okay? Or um, you can send an email to to uh, to the vendor requesting them to fill out the information online. This is very useful. What I usually do, I fill it out here. I give them a quick call or send them a text and ask them, oh, by the way, QuickBook, you'll receive an email from QuickBooks asking you to fill out your 1099 information. Uh, go ahead and fill it out for me so that I can send you 1099. Now, very important to know that you won't be able to send your 1099 until all your um, 10 1099 qualifying uh, non-employee compensation it's fill, filled out, all the non-employee information. So uh, once you fill it out, we're going to prepare 1099. Gonna, now it's, it's reminding you that uh, you can still file electronically for the 1099 NEC. That's what you want to file for non-employee compensation uh, for rentals and for uh, like, let's suppose you you buy supply for, from a vendor, but not they're not providing you, like, work labor. It's non-labor. Uh, then it's miscellaneous. But if it is, um, like, labor, contract labor, you want to file as a 1099 NEC. 
can do it between February 1st and April 30th, even though the deadline was January 31st with a penalty. Okay. And, and then after April 30th, you can only print and mail, no electronic filing after April 30th. Okay, so we're going to continue to the 1099. Okay, you want to select non-employee compensation. And you're going you're gonna to select the account that you pay from. So in this case, accounting, bookkeeping, commission fee, cost of labor for me. So it depends on what kind of categorization you have for your non-employee compensation. Might be just contractor, and that's good. Okay, so direct sales, also multiple accounts they have. Um, and that's all I need to fill out. Um, now, don't worry about federal tax withheld on an a a NEC because that's very uncommon. Here in Florida, we do not withhold any taxes on an NE NEC. So once you select that, we're going to go to next. And here saying that the tax miss is information the tax ID information is missing. You'd have to, like I said, add it and fill it out first or have the um, your vendor fill out the information with the email you send them, okay? So uh, we're going to go ahead and click on next. Now, in this case, I don't have any. This is just a sample account. I don't have any that qualify for the 1099 but I'm going to click on finish preparing just so that I can show you a few options here. This is to print and mail if you did not have the, the opportunity to do electronically. Uh, this one, e-file, is just actually a monthly fee if you want to pay your, um, um, your contractors through QuickBooks, which you can do that. Uh, but if, but not, none of the, those two information is what, I, what you need to do. Uh, if I had employees that qualify, it would show me the number of employees, and it's about $15 per employee to file electronically. It's a great deal for me. <laughs> so, And you can just click and submit. Your employee is going to receive an email and um, in the form 1099 in the mail as well. So pay $15 to get both of that, and it's all done. For you. If, if you ask me, that's a great deal. So, um, and that's how it's going to be. You're also going to receive a um, summary of all the employees, all your 1099 employees compensation. So you can keep it on your file and you probably want to, to save that on your files as well. Okay. So uh, that's what you do to file your 1099. Hopefully that this was useful to you. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. We love to bring information like that to make your life easier, to make you understand your finances and make sense of what QuickBooks Online is all about. Uh, understanding your finance will give you, will empower you <laughs> uh, so that you can make uh, more informed decisions for your business. You can grow your business. You know where your money is going to, where your money is coming from. And that's so important so that you know where you should put your efforts on, right, to grow your business. All right, so if you um, have filed your, your taxes, congratulations, uh, you did it on time. Hey, that's awesome. But it's time to continue working and keep up with your books so that at the end of the year, it's easy to file, everything is ready to go. If you have not done yet uh, and you need help, we do offer help, by the way. <laughs> if you want a Zoom meeting, um, just um, you can contact us. You can email. You can you can call us. You, we can set up a time so we can do a Zoom meeting and, and walk you through uh, what you need in order to clean up your book and get it ready to file your taxes. If you uh, if you want just to hire us so that we can take a look, make sure everything is right and you're all done. Yeah, we can do that as well. Or if you're completely lost, you don't know what's going on, you need some catch-up work, we can help you with that as well. Or if you need to hire a bookkeeper and you want to focus on, on what you do best, <laughs> we also have ongoing bookkeeping services. Um, I hope this, is what, this was useful. 
Um, I am so grateful that you spend the time with me today um, watching this video. And I hope to see you again soon. And then, oh yes, before we forget, remember to subscribe to our channel if you want to continue receiving videos like that. <laughs> and like it. And put a comment down below if there's anything you'd like us to cover. If you have any questions in, in regards to that. And until next time, keep on smiling.